Okay, I know it's been a while. Um, it's been about four or five months. I really know that it has been some time since I've done this. And of course, I keep losing the coin flip. Um, I've been trying to get this up and running. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, I wish I knew what was going on more, but hey, look. This is what I'm playing. I'm playing Napoleon. Um, I decided to try and get this channel up and running one last time just to see how it's going. Um, video is working better. Audio is working better. Everything's kind of blending better right now. Um, and so with that being said, I actually have some way of doing this. So I'm actually okay with this right now. Um, I can easily bring this back to Super Run. Okay. Sorry, I'm thinking ahead. Um, because this, I am actually playing a Empoleon deck. See, a little winky winky penguin? I like the winky winky penguin. Um, I play the 70 because it's better, and Necrozma up front. May not be the smartest play, but I will give it to him. At least he's doing something. Um, now, this is actually a really good matchup to show what Empoleon can do, um, against the meta, because in reality, he's gonna play a lot of one prize attackers, or I mean two prize attackers, I'm going to play one, and it's going to be insanely fast and hopefully furious when it comes to, I can get two rem raids down, go from there. If I can, I am golden, I am happy, I can do a lot of things with that, if not, I will be a little upset. But I need a full bench, which this does not require snipe damage issues, so if I can get Bridget top deck, I would be happy, I run two. Um... I probably should play more, but I just don't have the room for it. If I did, I'd probably cut like one energy out type thing. So he's going to try and go turn three with the Dawn Wings and knock out something. I'm going to come in and put... Oh, we should have a Bridget. There's one Bridget. I'm going to Bridget and put a... Lele, uh, although it's not the best thing to start off with, I'm happy to start off with it. I'm going to put one, two, I'm going to put the Piplup down, and I'm going to retreat into the Lele, and I am going to stop right there. Only because I want to see how this is going to go. I'd rather grab the Remraid, throw... A couple things more down, go from there, and see how it goes. Empoleon, look at that bench is already full over here. This bench is already littered with Pokemon. Now, even if I'm limited to my three, he's limited to his five that he wants. I could easily, easily find a way of doing this. He only got one energy in the discard, which is fine with me. He can't unless he puts an Ultra Ball down or a Mysterious Treasure. Uh, goodbye, Piplup. See, now I'm limited. I'm not hurt about that. That's okay. But he's still got a one-hit KO going here, because it's 8 times 2 is 160. If I grab... If I grab a choice band. Hey, choice band. I can easily still get that knockout. So I'm going to get rid of that. Grab Octillery. I'm probably going to play... Yeah, I'll... Do I want to play it? Not yet, maybe. Let's see what I get off the Abyssal. If I get something off the Abyssal that's worthwhile, like an Aqua Patch! Hey, buddy! I will gladly put that there. This here. I'll use the Super Rod to grab back the two Pokemon. And then I'm not going to end, I'm going to Cynthia, because I'd rather give myself more cards and not him more. Okay, so... This whole business of dealing with the full bench, I almost don't want to deal with putting something down just yet. So I do have Pokemon I can put down. I can fill up the bench pretty quick next turn and go from there. Now, do I put... I'm going to put the... No, not the Bridget. The Cynthia and the end back in. Again, dropping my card size for next turn. And if I get Empoleon... I just go in and destroy. Just plain and simple, I go in and destroy. Now, if I can do that against Dawn Wings, I'm already doing something amazing. I'm already knocking out their rebuttal, you know, Moon's Eclipse knockout. Now, they still don't have anything going. Now, they played their one. I have another Brooklyn Hill, and I got two Flip Blowers left, right? Yep. 
so I can get my bench size back up and running. Now, if they play three, that's insane. I've never seen that. Um, but here we go. They're going to go for Malamar. They're going to go hit Lele. Oh, can they hit Lele is the question. There's Malamar. And the other thing I like about the end play on this one is when they get low, they don't normally play a draw supporter. So when they don't play a draw supporter, it is golden for me. I don't have to worry about it. They're like, oh, look, I can't do this. And take more. So they were able to get seven fresh cards, which is perfect for them. I see no problem with that. I'd rather them play good and watch Empoleon wreck face. So I got a lot of this going on. Let's see. Let's see. Now, I would have put Remraid down last turn if I knew that this was going to mean something. It really doesn't at this point. Uh, see, that's why I didn't. So, I didn't lose my bench space. I'm not crying. They didn't feel blowered this away. So, I can knock out any GX on their field if Empoleon comes down. Now, I would love to knock out this Dawn Wings. That would be the best. Um, but it looks like I will have to knock out the Necrozma. Comes in. He's only going to do 120. It's not the worst for me. Um, I have no energy in the discard, so that's not a big deal. Now I can I can't Lele, but I can Abyssal. I can Guzma and pray. Um, let's put this down first. Okay, so I have Piplup. I have that. I have that, and I'm going to leave Lele in the active. Unfortunately, I don't want to do it, but I have to do it. So they are going for the first hand destruction with Moon's Eclipse. But they still have built this up. They gotta find some way of doing it. They would have to put an energy here, which they don't have in the discard. That would be perfect for them if they did it that way, but they also have to get the Melamars up. Which unfortunately for them, they have to quickly do so. Because if I can get anything up and running at this point, I mean anything up and running at this point, they are in trouble. So one Brooklyn down. They magically got the second parallel city in a row. Just like that. Like nothing happened. Um, there's no point in playing parallel in my deck because I want to actually get Pokemon on my bench, not off of it. I also want to get Pokemon off of their bench and or keep it on their bench so that I can do a ton more damage. So there's Malabar for one more energy on the Necrozma. Now, if I can do this, I will be happy. Um, I just need to get the Empoleon somehow magically. Come on, Empoleon. Come on, buddy. I even got your corn right here. Look at you're chilling. You're chilling right there. Let's do this. Now, come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, make your choice. You know you're gonna knock it out. Now I have to bring up the pipple up down here just to pray and hope that Empoleon shows up. Now I have to put a two prize attacker up, which is not fun for me at all. Now he can't moons eclipse the next turn. Mysterious treasure for another energy. So he can go straight in with the Krasma the following turn. Now, that is the downfall of having to deal with all of this. Now, I do have the... There you go. Psychic Recharge on to... One, two. If he's got the energy, he can retreat and then knock out Lele with that. But then, if I get that, I knock out Donnelly's. Now, I could have bubbled and prayed. Bubble beamed and prayed. But there would have been no point. Psychic so Recharge. So he's got the energy flowing now. It is up and running. This Dawn Wings is up and running. There is no choice in it. I am going to have to deal with a lot of issues. Now this is a extreme meta deck. Let's see. Do I put... Mm, no, if I have to. There is Empoleon. I'm happy about that. I will Aqua Patch. I will... Uh, I'm going to save Lele for later. So I'm going to actually grab another Piplo. Put him down. I'd rather see the Bissell with something good. Okay, Floatstone, Rare Candy. That doesn't do anything too much for me. I can put the Floatstone down. But I am actually just going to take the Total Command Knockout right now on 
Todd Weeks. And he's going to return the knockout with um, Necrozma. Both field blowers in one foul swoop. So I can fill up my bench pretty quick next turn if I end up with a water, a choice band. Not even that, water, and I'm good. Um, I don't know why he's doing that play because in reality, he is going to need to knock me out with the Necrozma play. Now, he can't do it with the Dong Wings because there isn't. Hey, look, there's the field blower. I could care less. I'm going to field blower you back. I'll probably end you too. Now, can I take the meta deck down with my baby little Empoleon? Maybe. I might be able to knock down Empoleon. Okay, you got Marsh Shadow GX, which was not a smart play. I got to say that in, in entirety. Because it's only going to do 120. It cannot do... There is no prismatic burst that goes on right now. There's nothing that can really affect this. And that is actually a bad Pokemon to put down because it's too prizer and has less... HP than anything. So he can't come back and do the Dawn Wings play, but in reality, I would not put him up and running right now. That is not the Pokemon I would put in play, only because you need a lot. You need a lot to go off of. If I can do... How many Aqua Patches? I've used two Aqua Patches. I've got four in deck. Now, that means there's two to go. I'm down to 28 cards in deck, which, eh, again, he's got the energy flowing. No need for the choice band. Prismatic burst. Let's see if I can magically pull this off. Now, what I would like is to freeze him in the active. So, if I can freeze him in the active, I'm happy. Z can't really get out. If I can remove the float stones. Okay, too many Guzma. Got this going on. Move you. Float stones are gone. Hopefully for good. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Yes, I'm going to end... Even if I bubble beam, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, but I don't need to because I have enough going on. So I'm going to keep the stadium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can do this right here and be happy with it. So we're going to Empoleon. Do I knock? Oh, that's nasty. Uh, do I knock it out this turn? Yeah, we'll do it this way. Total command. Knock out, get my two prizes, and go from there. Ultra Ball, and... Okay. Choice band. Now, this is a very bad play for him because if I just somehow magically go, hey, I want to knock out your Necrozma GX instead or your Lele instead, you've already got how much energy? Discard. You've got six. Oh, you got five, eight, nine. Ooh, you may be running out of energy. You may be at your energy max, which is fine with me. So if you want to come in, do the Dawn Wings and then, you know, the Dawn Wings play, that's fine. If I can somehow magically get, I already use my yeah, I use that. I ain't worried about this. Okay, you've got your one energy. Your oh, your tenth energy is down. So you have to do a lot of things here. So he can't come in with that. He can prismatic burst to win the following turn, but it's gonna take a lot. The one energy here, choice band here, and abyssal. 
aqua patch to you. How many float stones are down? Only one floats down. Um, do I end him? Yeah, I'm gonna end him down to nothing. A double octillery. So I can grab more cards. This whole hand, come on, buddy. Rare candy, nope. Do grab the float stone. I'll put the other choice man down so that when it comes down to it, I have more to play with. Come on, rare candy. Rare candy, half of the equation. Now, what I'm going to do. There's nothing for me to grab. So I'm going to hope and pray that the following turn, although Pip looks up, he's going to have a Guzma to knock out. Plain and simple. Now who I should have probably put up is Lele. But if he somehow finds a way of retreating, it's going to be game. So we are going to deal with this how we deal with it. So I'm down to 13 cards, he's down to 11. This is where, really, the double artillery play is what I'm looking for. So if he can somehow get this pip up, good for him. But I don't think he can. He's kind of stuck. Cynthia! So he can't Guzma. So he's going to have to find a float stone. And even then, it's kind of game at this point. If I can get my one card that I'm looking for. I have Guzma. I've got plenty of attacking going on right here. Um... Well, let's see what he can do. One energy. You go with your one energy. You're going to need another one just to retreat. So that's the problem with this deck when it comes down to the energy burn. It's fine and all, but I now have three targets to hit. So I'm going to... Bissell first. Rare Candy. And Polion. I am then going to end... Ooh, do I end... Let me abyssal real quick. Let me see if it's worth that. Water. Retreat. And we're going to go for game. So against a Necrozma Malamar deck, we won. So that's where it really comes down to. Empoleon does have a place in the meta if you can get it consistent enough to work. Now, I've got, actually, this deck has actually done really well for me. It actually just hasn't been drawing that well for me today. Um, the consistency has been there. I've actually gotten six or seven in a row, lost one, they got six and seven again. So the deck that I'm actually using, hey, look, chess, maybe I'll open that for you. Um, come on, hurry up. The deck I'm actually using, which I have seen room for changes, I'm running a 2-2 two, two Octillery I'm Raid. I'm running a 4-2-4, four, four, so Empoleon's important. I'm running one Mr. Mime to stop, you know, bench damage. Two Lele, which really shouldn't be played if at all possible. I'm running two Field Blowers to get rid of those Parallel Cities, as you saw. It was good, good enough. Um, four Ultra Ball, two Nest Ball to put down just basics on your bench to keep going. Napoleon lives on the bench. Um, three rare candy. You could put that to four. I don't see the point in it. Only because you really only need three Napoleon. Three Napoleon are either going to do it or not. Um, one pal pad gets you back Guzma because you're only playing two there. Maybe gets you back Cynthia. Maybe an end to slow him down. Um, uh, four aqua patch because that water acceleration is needed. Um, one super round to get back basics, basically. Get back your basics. Get maybe an Empoleon line back. Um, two Brooklet Hill. Again, trying to get ba basics on the bench. So you get the pimp ups down. Boom. Knock them out real quick. Uh, three in for disruption. Two Guzma. Two Bridget, which it's really nice to get that opening hand turn one instead of Lele Bridget because that means you don't have a Lele on the bench for them to take two prizes. Um, three Cynthia, two Floatstone, which I wish that was more. I may take a, if, if I can improve anything on this bet, you know, on this deck, um, it would be maybe adding a third Floatstone, taking away two water, um, putting either another Palpat or a Super Rod. I'm guessing more likely a Super Rod, um, because 
to get stuff back is so important in this match in all these matchups. Uh, this deck does do well. Like I said, it was doing well for me, and against things like Buzzwall is really the only problem that I ran into. Buzzwall is not a fun deck to deal with. Where is it? There's my Buzzwall. <laughs> Buzzwall is not a fun deck to run into with its Jet Punch, and if you don't get Mr. Mime down, it destroys your basics, and if you don't evolve quick enough, it's just plain over. So he is my worst matchup that I can find. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, please. Tell me that you want to see more of what I'm doing. Um, again, I am working hard at it, trying to think of ways to make it more entertaining. There's probably no music going on this one because I probably didn't turn on the system music. Because again, I am testing this to make sure that everything kind of looks good, streams good, kind of goes from there. So, hope you enjoyed and have a good day.